How fast is the speed of thought? Ever wondered how some people are more spontaneous in reacting to a particular situation than others? Such is the case when a person has a fast speed of thought. If I slap you hard on your face, the first reaction would be the movement of your eyes in disbelief. You may not even be able to utter words instantly, which is why the speed of thought has a certain number of giving output. Scientists have approached this tricky question by timing how long it takes for us to become consciously aware of sensory information. It is such a challenging and time-consuming process of estimating this period of our thought speed, but we have gathered some information with our analysis. The process of any intellectual work begins from our minds. It is like the controlling unit of our whole body. The involvement of thoughts and reactions also proceeds with the indulgence of neurons of our brain. It is fantastic to consider that a given opinion can be generated and acted in less than 150 milliseconds. The reception and perception of our mind, the decision to begin running, issuing the activities of commands, and producing muscle force to start running involves a network that starts in the ear and travels through numerous structures of our nervous system before reaching the leg's muscles. All of that biological process, which looks so unbelievable to us, can literally happen in the blink of an eye. A variety of factors can influence the speed of thought in human beings. One is the volume of the auditory GO signal, although reaction time tends to decrease as the loudness of the GO signal increases. There seems to be a sharp point in the range of 120 to 140 decibels where an additional decrease of approximately 18 milliseconds can occur. Scientists believe that the triggered response emerges through the activation of neural centers in the brainstem. The speed of thought is the means of showcasing our sentiments, anger, decision-making, and responses in any aspect of our lives. Animals depend upon their nerves to react to a specific situation in their life. Like when an animal wants to attack a prey, it goes through specific generations of thought to make the perfect targeted attack on its prey. Similarly, when an animal who's targeted by a predator is under attack, he uses his nervous system to generate ideas on how to escape from the predator. Some scientists have argued that a high-functioning brain is also the one who is the most intelligent. People with faster responses in a little time have more grasp on their speed of thought and can be called brilliant. High speed is also essential to how we perceive the world, so the rate of thinking of an individual with higher speeds can be quicker in his responses and decision-making for different aspects of life. The ability to answer more quickly than others is what makes the individual's brain and stability unique. Animals are given the gift of a precious mind. With the right use, a person can achieve much success in their life. There has been much research done on checking the responses of people and judging their speed of thought. Ten people were shown a video for 30 seconds which contained many sceneries and colorful backgrounds. To evaluate the thought speed, some people were asked about the different colors used in the video and asked some questions related to the video's story. This determined that only five people could remember some scenes from the video, two people could precisely state the video as portrayed, and the other three people were unable to remember anything from the illustrated video. In the last session, they were asked to interpret their thoughts on what they perceived from the video. Different people had different opinions and were able to answer in variable time and speed. So, we can say that thought speed is a vital sign of a healthy and stable mind. Over time, the rate of our thoughts might decline due to the inactiveness of our neurons. It is essential to keep track of our brain's activity and not indulge in anything that could be a potential hazard for our mind's productivity.